Hey, welcome back and thank you for joining me once again. Today, we're going to do something a little bit special or a little bit different. Today, we're going to be reviewing Samuel Adams' Double Bock. Now, this is the original bottle that it used to come in, a little 12-ounce bottle. On the back, it just says Samuel Adams' Double Bock is brewed with half a pound of malt in each bottle, almost enough for a loaf of bread. It's rich, intense lager reveals a deep mahogany color and a smooth, velvety fin of flavor. Samuel Adams Double Bock is one of the first sought after brews. Enjoy. Now, this one here, like I said, little 12 ounce bottle, this ain't what we're reviewing. Let's toss that aside. Today, we're just going to do the 22 ouncer. This one, one pint, 0.64 ounces, you know, a little 22, 23, um, nine and a half percent. Same thing on the back. Nothing really special about this. Um, today we're going to use a really different glass. No snifters, no pint glasses. Today we're going for the big boy. We're just going to go straight up into it. Let me go ahead and pop this open and get into this. Now, nifty little trick that most people don't know if you're a collector of the bottles or something and you want to use the original bottle, right there's the trick. Take the quarter, put it on top, go ahead, put your bottle opener over in it, pops it right open, and you get smoke out of the bottle. Now, no dents, no nicks, no scratches, perfect bottle cap. Toss that aside. Let's go ahead and get a pour off of this. Oh, that cascading head is going to reach all the way to the top. I might be in trouble with this one. Just to the top. Look at that. Nice. Alright, set this aside. I can see bubbles coming up from everywhere on this. So you can focus in on that just a tiny bit better. Nice head. Look at that. Don't know if it'll focus in here. A little bit better. Mm, about a three finger. Real nice dark caramel color. Very caramely. Bubbles streaming up from all sides of the glass. And bubbles on the bottom of the glass down here. Um, I'm going to call that a, a rocky head. I don't know if you can see that very well. Get it down in here. Let's see this. Oh, that head. I call that a little rocky. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get into some of the smells. Oh, yeah. Very, very, very caramely. Um, you can smell just the traditional box scent. Um, or what I usually get out of most of my duffel box. Um a big maltiness, a bit, a little bit of a breadiness, a, a little bit of uh, caramel, maybe even a hint of the alcohol through the smell. Let's go ahead and dive into this. Definitely same thing with the taste. A lot of caramel. Um, big, big breadiness. Um, dark, dark caramel malts. Um, you do get a little bit of the alcohol to this. Um, I, I'm pretty much that's traditional with the style. 
um, you just get that little backwash of like a, a licorice taste. Um, you may even get some mid to light fruits. Um, maybe like kind of like an apple taste that you know that's just oh a little overly ripened. Um, big 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 breadiness though. I mean this this is a I want to call it a between a medium to full mouth feel, man. It, it's it's a to me a little bit thick, um, that much uh, malts and that type of yeast. It's just it's a big boy right here, right here is a big boy. Um, it'll still probably take me the rest of the evening to chill off and sip on this, and I'll be good. But overall. Um, I have to say this from Sam Adams has to be my favorite Doppelbach or in the States Doppelbach. Um, I, I find it to be the best one. I, I, it's my opinion. Nobody else can, you know, has to follow suit, but, uh, I think that they've done a very good job and well-crafted Doppelbach. Um, if I had to rate it, um, I can't say Doppelbachs are my favorite style, but in an all sense, I, I, I just, it's a solid B plus. Um, I, I don't know how much can be done better with this style. Um, I don't know where else it could go. Uh, just as a doppel, a traditional Doppelbach, this is, this is my go-to Doppelbach. Um, very malty, very caramely, um, just the right sense of ABV um, to me, and uh, just a very well-crafted beer. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end it with that and say, pros, cheers, my friends, and have a good one. Remember, anytime you watch these videos, comment in the little box below. Go ahead. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you. Peace.